I am back. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Saken. And guess what? I'm back on New Town. Why? Because people keep requesting it. So I'm going to show you the easiest and the best way to camp this map, without a doubt. I've done plenty of videos on here, but I'm going to show you the technique I feel is the most effective. If you're a noob, if you're an experienced player, I find this to be very effective. So I'm going to give you a few little tips and tricks and kind of give you my thought process. Now, here's the first step. This window. Definitely the number one way to camp. First thing, don't put your head all the way out. Why? Because there might be a sniper on the other side trying to take you out right here. See, look, that guy. But see, I'm a little more experienced, so I can turn on him and drop him down. I was dropping people at the bottom. Now, you got to be really careful. When you're up in this window, there's basically three ways I'll say people kill you. One, they get over on this other room here and they snipe you all the way across. Two, they come from your right and they jump up through the window real fast and they lay you down. And the third one, they throw a grenade up in there. So you got to be careful about all that. But I find that. A, the snipers on the other side, the ones you got to worry about, maybe one out of every 10 games. A lot of times there's not even a sniper on the other side, and you're basically guarding this window. As long as your teammates are not flipping the spawn, you can control this area. So you don't have to worry about that. And look at this. You got a great line of sight at B. And look, that's an easy 125. Now, here's the thing. If you're going to be camping this, pay attention to your teammates. I'm always looking at the mini map. Look up there on the left. There are two people over on my left. There's one over on the right. That leaves one lane for these guys to come down. They're guarding both lanes. They got to come up this middle. And that's why I'm paying attention here. And I'm not looking left and right down on the mini map. Now I'm looking because they were trying to capture the flag. Seeing if my team may need help that's guarding that lane. And then I come here. Now I got to let you guys know I am playing solo. But even at, when I'm playing solo, I pay attention to what my teammates are doing. Like you might get that turd that like to push up in the spawn. You got to be ready. If they're going to be flipping the spawns, you got to be willing to jump out this window and go over there. And look, the only reason I look left because I'm watching the thing. There's no one over there on the left lane. So more than likely, that's the opportunity for them to come. And my teammates are pushing up a little close. But look, see, left lane is open. Dude comes. Oh, I missed. But see the point I'm making? Because I was paying attention to the mini map and I'm seeing where all my teammates are, I know where they got to come. And really be patient. I know a lot of you guys got ADD and you got to get out there and get into the action. Go ahead. Be that guy with ADD. I'm the guy that's going to take advantage of your ADD. Because when you run out, I'm going to lay you down. Look, I only got 18 bullets left. I can't even reload. But you know what? doesn't matter because I got into that server. Like I could jump down there and get a scavenger pack, but I'm not worried. Why? Because I'm in my favorite gun. Now that I done laid it down, look. Oh, I thought they were calling something else. Go get that rocket launcher and get points. Now the Severus is nasty on this map. And I'm just waiting for it to drop. I only have 12 bullets, so I didn't want to waste my bullets. But see, once you get in the Severus, this thing is a terrorizer. It terrorizes people. Look at that. That's two deaths already. Look at him. You can't come down this lane. You know why? Because I bring pain. And look at that guy in the window. Get taken out, son. I usually sit over here with the Severus when I'm on this side because they try to shoot me with rockets. And a lot of this stuff kind of blocks their rockets. Like this little piece here in the middle. I can go up in this um the back of this truck. I can shoot my bullets up there and control the lane. The only thing I have to watch out for is the turds that are trying to push this bomb. Like that's it. That's probably the biggest challenge. Get on a team without turds. And I hate that one guy who's pushing the spawn and he's like 1 in 40. He's not even good. But it happens. So I got to be prepared. And look at this. I can get them as they come out that spawn. And as they run to the back way, I lay them down. What I do is I create a no rush zone. I get these guys afraid to come out, which is fine. The only problem is my teammates tend to get a little courage when you do that. And they'll push up into the spawn. And all I'm doing is watching these areas. See how I got my head where I can turn it really fast. I'm laying these guys down. Look at this. He tried to get me with a rocket. Okay, that's one little hit. But look, I'm only halfway to being damaged, I mean, taken out. Look at that, I'm not even worried about it. This is the spot for the Severus. Like I said, I get so many kills. Look, I'm only jumping out to see how close I am to the wraps, and I jump back in. I'm only 100 points off. So at this point, I'm gonna get a little more aggressive, but also too, I'm watching my teammates. Look how they're pushing up into the spawn. They're pushing up into the spawn, they'll plop, probably flip it. They're trying to take my kills, keep these people from coming out. So you know what, I'm going to the back, look at this. I come in and take their kills. Forget these turds. I'll go ahead and flip the spawn because I know it's almost over. We're almost done with this first half. I'll let my teammates get it. And because we're all back there on the C2, it pushes them out towards B for some reason. They come out here in the middle and look, I'm going to try to get a couple more kills. You know I got those wraps. I'm going to wait till the second half to drop them. I don't even mind these guys getting flags right now. For me, them capturing two flags will only prolong their death. They're going to get, well, not prolong. <laughs> it's going to help. What's the word? I'm going to expedite their death. There you go. I feel like I'm at work. Hey, guys, got to expedite more deaths. Look at that. First half, flawless. That, you guys, is camping to a perfection on this map. 
yes, there's a lot of risk when you're in the upper window. Snipers, people throwing grenades. But you don't have to worry about that. Whenever you play this game, go with the flow. If you got snipers up there, guess what? Go down low. It's not that hard. It's not that complicated. I always tell you guys, it's about the adjustments. Now, I'm not going to call these wraps out right away. I want to go ahead and capture this flag. I want to see if I can kind of cover B. If you notice, I'm about to get him. And look, here's the beehives. Now, watch out. You got to watch for a guy that may be coming really fast and lay him down. Look, there's the guy. This game is so predictable. Now, I'm going to go ahead and shoot these beehives out. Let me see if I can get beehives all around B. Now, I'm going to put some back here. Why? Because we probably will flip this bomb once I drop these wraps. See, now I'm going to drop the wraps. Now, I'm going to get up in there and see if I can get some kills from this window. First, check to make sure no one's there. See? Sometimes you may have a person sitting out there just pre-aiming. Look, there you go. That was the guy. He probably could have took me out, but he was looking at the B flag. But that's what you got to watch out for. When you get in these windows, look at this. You see how I'm sitting back? Look, see, they're just shooting over at me now. Look, they're trying to wall bang me. I shot at the guy and look, he's wasting all his bullets thinking he's going to get me. I'm not worried. And so look at this. Now I'm going to look out the window. He didn't shot all them bullets. So if he did come out there right now, he would get laid down. And now my raps, they're causing chaos. So I got the wraps. The only thing I'm worried about the wraps doing is flipping the spawn. Like I said, the wraps is like alcohol. It gives my teammate that liquid courage and they push up into the spawn. So I'm being conscious of that. Look where all my teammates are. So at this point, I can sit back and camp, but I'm worried about them coming behind me. I'm worried about them spawning behind me. Now I do got some beehives on A, so I'm not too worried. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to push up. Why? Because my teammates are pushing up. This is the camping one-on-one. Being aware of your teammates. Look at that. Where is it? He's coming up here. He's being bad. And I got his back. Now we cleared it out. Look, my beehives are going in. They tried to go ahead and sneak A. Not today. And look, I got that mothership. I blew up my C4 that I had in the middle just because I want to drop one here on this flag. And I want to go ahead and drop into that mothership. Look, my wraps are still going ham. Now I'm in this. Now this mothership is nasty in this map. Why? As long as your teammates don't push the spawn, they keep spawning back there. You keep laying them down. Like I said, once again, you just got to worry about that turd teammate. That's going to flip the spawn, but I'm not too worried. You know, if they flip the spawn, you can move your ship and the ship kind of gets on the side and you can get them in both spawns. It's not too bad. Look at this. Just terrorize these guys. I think the worst thing about a mothership on this map is the assist I get because people jump in and they start getting kills. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. But look at this. See, right now I'm killing them out to spawn. As soon as they spawn, they get laid down. Look at these guys. They have nowhere to go. Right now, I'm exterminating the roaches. <laughs> Look at this guy right there. Some people just spawn and be like, you know what? Why even bother to run? I know I'm going to die. And you know what? I got to oblige them and kill them. You know, some people don't care about their little Kyle lives. These are the people that stay in games and they go 1 in 50. I always ask myself, why would they stay in the game? Honestly, if I was in the game and I was, I wouldn't get to 1 in 50. I'm sorry. I just wouldn't even get that far. And I know some people saying, you're a quitter. No. Sometimes you get on Nuketown, and this is the downfall of Nuketown. Sometimes you get on with a really good team, and they spawn trap you. I'm not about that spawn trap life. If they start spawn trapping me, I'm gone. And every now and then I get, you know, ballsy, and I'm like, look, I'm going to come out and try to wreck them out to spawn. But look at I got assists. I thought I was going to get those two kills. Look, we're at 167 and 191. I'm going to go ahead and drop that. Now I'm waiting to see if anyone's spawning over here because where my teammates are on the map. I want to make sure no one's going to spawn out of there. Now that they haven't spawned out of there, I'm going to go over here. This will prevent them from spawning right here. And I'm going to get in here. I know the game is about over, but I got this Severus. I'm going to try to go ahead and rack up a few more kills. Let's see if we can drop a 50 bomb. Now, a lot of times when I play this map, I get between 50 and 85 kills like every time. It's just something about this map. This is an easy map to camp. It's an easy map to control. And don't get me wrong. On the same token, the way you're able to camp it, other people are too. Sometimes you get on and you get with a whole team of campers. And they make it challenging for you. You got to decide at that point, do you want to sit there and work on your counter skills, counter and people that's camping like me? Or do you want to go somewhere else? Look at this guy. Get, who took my kill? Man, look at that. I see you guys back there, you greedy little bastards. <laughs> but I'm going to come around. Right now, we're pushing the spawn. I don't even care at this point. They may kill me. I may not go flop. Look at this guy. Oh, he died. Look, he's going to give me two for one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm dropping many rejects in front of me. I'll take those two kills. Look at this. I don't even know where to go at this point. We got these guys confused. Now, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can use these tips and tricks. This is the best way to camp. The easiest way. There's many ways to camp this map, but I just gave you the easiest way to camp. Look at that. I went 53 and 0. I went flawless. With limited effort, I just got in that window. I was aware of where my teammates were by watching the mini map. I was aware of the spawn and I had the right streak set up. That is how you camp Nuketown.
All right, you guys, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub. If you're old to the channel, drop a like. I am out. Let's go. Oh, wait, hold on before I go. I just wanted to let them guys know. I love you. Psych. Ah, get out of here. I'm out. <laughs> Let's go.